Hey. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Hello everyone, Shauna Love back again with another video. This is how to make a wig with my hot glue gun method. I got a hot glue gun here, some glue, some hair, some cap. A wig block is very helpful to get. You should get a wig block the size of your head. And yeah, you know. Now let's start the wig. We're gonna go with the glue gun. Put a little piece. We're gonna do a little piece, piece by piece. So we're gonna glue gun this first track to the back of the, to the nape of your head. Well, not your head, but the the wig block head. Now we're gonna keep going. Some people they cut their tracks. I don't cut my tracks because I don't want my hair to shed. It's beauty supply store hair, so it's already guaranteed to shed. So I'm just wanna minimize the shedding by not cutting my wets. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my time and I'm going back and forth in zigzag motions. Well, not zigzag motions, but you know, slowly. Slow and steady gets the job done. This took about maybe 30 minutes. It's fast, glue gun is fast. Faster than sewing, I love it. Most of my wigs that I make, they're glue gun. So now what I'm doing is I'm going from left to right and right to left, glue gunning a little, then pasting it down. Be careful, the glue is hot. I, I Sometimes I burn myself a little bit. And right here, don't worry if you get glue on the hair because the glue doesn't stick to the hair. What I mean by that is, look at this. I'm getting some glue on the hair. Just keep going if you get glue on the hair. It doesn't matter because when you comb the hair with the, out with a brush, the extra glue is going to fall right out. So don't worry about it. It's going to come out. This glue absolutely does not positively stick to any of the tracks. It only sticks to... It doesn't stick to the hair, it just sticks to the tracks. So now I finished it and I got like a little horseshoe going on. And the top I'm going to put a closure. Yeah. Yeah. Brushing it. Not brushing it, but like, you know, patting it, you know. So I got me a little horseshoe here. I didn't have my wig clips with me when I was doing this video. So I just used a, a look like a little clothespin you use when you're sewing. And I'm going to start, let's see where I'm going to start. I'm going to start from the front. So I'm, I'm going to put the hair in a pony so it'll be a little easier to work with. And it won't be in my way when I'm trying to sew. So I'm going to show you two ways how to sew. You can sew it this first way. I'm not going to cut the weft, the lace. I'm just going to sew it. So I'm just sewing it, sewing it. I'm not really going into detail on how to sew because like I'm not a professional s sewer but anybody can do it you know there's lots of videos you can look at on how to sew your closure on okay and it be nice and flat girl so yes I'm just tying a knot and now I'm putting it in this time what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the knot and now I'm going to cut the lace. I'm going to show you how to sew when you cut the lace. So you go from under in. If you can see what I'm doing. Yada, yada, yada. You see. Very nice. Yeah, you see it. Then you cut off a little extra. Tie a little knot so it's nice and secure. And you're good. You're done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to brush Portia, we're going to brush all the glue, extra glue that's inside of Portia, and we're going to just, this is the finished product. This is how I made my birthday wig for my 20th birthday, and these were the results. Thank you for watching.